Welcome everybody to first virtual festival season. Many of you know that Emma uh, has been studying with me uh, for the 10 years at the Royal Conservatory of Music at the Taylor Academy. Uh, and obviously I'm very proud of Emma's achievement, uh, many of them, many achievements. Now, uh, 10 years, it's really the uh, years that, that uh, a musician is being formed. So uh, you could say it's like a teacher that sees a, a student once a week or, or oftentimes I saw Emma three times a week or four times a week in preparation for different competitions. So uh, a music teacher becomes kind of a musical father, if you will, not to take anything away from her uh, biological parents. But uh, definitely there is a, a musical bond that uh, has been established over those years. In addition, uh, while she's studying at Curtis, I'm, I'm very happy to hear uh, her play when she comes for March break or, or reading week and, and, and summer or, or whatnot. So I really uh, remain engaged in her progress and her musical uh, activities. Very happy to give her a stage uh, at this year's festival since early days. She was uh, really uh, out and about to, uh, to play in the Niagara Region schools uh, as we had uh, Young Virtuosos in Schools program. Uh, it was great for the kids. It was great, obviously, for, for Emma uh, to, 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 to learn how to perform, how to talk to the audience, how to answer questions, how to present pieces and, 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 and so on. So uh, activities that we still uh, continue by this day uh, in our Music Niagara Performance Academy. Uh, so, but Emma definitely was one of uh, the, the first uh, young performers that uh, really gave a start to, to many ideas that uh, came about uh, in following years. Uh, today you'll hear uh, her recorded uh, very recently uh, concert works for solo violin uh, and later on uh, there will be a, Emma being featured in uh, works by Beethoven and Schubert with uh, musicians uh, from Toronto Symphony Orchestra. Without further ado, please enjoy Emma's concert. We're happy to have you on our link. Hello everyone. My name is Emma Meinrenken. I am a 21-year-old violinist, and I have been performing with Music Niagara for over a decade now. I'm really sad that this year we have been unable to perform for you live. However, I'm also really excited that Music Niagara has taken the initiative to create a few online concerts to share with you all. Because of this pandemic, I have been unable to do a lot of collaboration with my fellow musicians. And that sort of translated into me working on a lot of solo violin repertoire. I put together this concert to share some of my favorite solo violin pieces with you. The first piece is by a German composer from the mid-Baroque era named Heinrich Bieber. Bieber in his time was a virtuoso violinist, but also a fascinating experimental composer. This particular piece was called Passacaglia and is nicknamed the Guardian Angel. A passacaglia is typically a slow piece of music with a repeating bass line. The repeated bass line in this passacaglia is this. And it repeats throughout the entire piece. A score of this particular piece was found in Johann Sebastian Bach's personal library and was thought to have directly influenced his legendary chicane for solo violin.
Vitautis Bartoskis' Partita for Solo Violin. It was written in 1967. Bartoskis was an avant-garde composer who lived in Lithuania during the time it was still part of the Soviet Union. According to stories told by my teacher Adis Bankis, this particular piece was one of the first ones written by a Soviet composer to be published outside of the Soviet Union, which caused a great scandal at the time. Sadly, Mr. Barkowskis died just three months ago in April, but his fascinating and exciting compositions would definitely live on.
The next pieces are by Johann Sebastian Bach, a composer who really needs no introduction. These are the last two movements from his violin sonata in C major and are simply called Largo and Allegro Assai. Speaking as a violinist, I find playing Bach to be endlessly difficult and interesting. And although I have been playing these particular pieces for many years, it is always very rewarding to pick them up again and to discover something new. Bach's music is the perfect pandemic remedy for all musicians, and I hope it is for you too.
for the movie The Red Violin. The movie turned out to be quite popular, and that year, Corigliano won the Academy Award for Best Soundtrack. The success of that music inspired him to write pieces based off of it, such as this one, The Red Violin Caprices. In the movie, the titular violin moves through different owners and time periods, such as child prodigies, virtuosos, street musicians, and collectors, traveling through Italy, Vienna, London, and Shanghai. You can hear the influences of these characters and places through every section of the piece, and I hope you enjoy this journey.
Thank you very much for tuning in and listening to this great young performer. And I'll see you all on Monday for the great debate. And it will be a truly live event uh, where you will be able to ask questions. And uh, I'll be speaking on Monday totally live. Thank you very much again. Bye for now. <laughs>